Okay, you have probably heard you have probably heard a lot about toxic masculinity, right? We know the terminology. It's spewing all over mainstream media. It's spewing all over social media and so on with a lot of women complaining that they've experienced abuse by men and, you know, toxic masculine energy. Well, today, as a woman, I'm going to actually speak about toxic female energy just to make a difference and raise the dialogue to an equal playing field, okay? Just to be fair. And as I have the authority to speak about it, not only because I'm a living soul witnessing what's happening, and, and I feel profoundly upset about this, and my heart goes out to men who are being just, you know, ostracized, ostracized and castrated socially that way, but also because I'm a woman. So I do know myself. And because I know myself, I know that I have a shadow, that I also have a capacity as a woman to, to act in very toxic way, right? It's a free will world. And I have a free will to act as an angel or act as a demon. Make sense? So let's go. What is toxic femininity and where is this coming from? Yes? So, first of all, there's absolutely no excuse for a woman, uh, that, uh, to, for a woman to act in a moody way, okay? You've been told that women are moody and that you have to put up with that, that you have to kind of settle for this and walk on eggshells, yes? Because God forbid she's going to get angry, right? Well, that moody situation comes from certain things. And it comes from addiction to orgasm, okay? I know this information might be very new to you and maybe you, as a, if you're a man watching this video, maybe you are a fabulous lover and maybe you've been, um, you know, educating yourself how to give a lot of pleasure to your lady and so on, like, you know, make her fly to the seventh heaven and so on. And just watch what happens afterwards, okay? As a woman, I channel my sexual energy. So that means that I take the, the, when I am aroused, I take the energy up into my higher chakras. And I, ever since I've been doing this, since I've been practicing no fap as a female, I notice that I am emotionally balanced. I do not throw a fit. I do not, I'm not into drama and I am in self-control. I have a sense of self-discipline and a peaceful, steady sense of self-confidence, self-worth and, and a very kind of, you know, graceful, love, lovely, feminine energy that I am aware of that I exude this. It's my gift to the world the frequency that I'm bringing, yes? When I, when I practiced orgasmic sex, so the sex that, you know, they teach us to, to do, yes? When I was experiencing a lot of flights to the seventh heaven, I was emotionally out of balance, yeah? I was, I had mood swings like roller coaster, so I was going almost bipolar sometimes, yes? Slightly, maybe not on extremes, but there was definitely that bipolar phenomena of, you know, feeling amazing and feeling like shit and feeling like amazing, feeling like shit and so on. Um, woman, when a woman is addicted to orgasm, it's very easy to get addicted. This is fun. Okay. And the society approves it. She's basically hooked on cocaine. Right. And um, it's like, a, you know, it's the neurons that fire in the brain of a woman could be comparable to cocaine. So she gets the dopamine high and so on. And um, what happens is that it shatters her energy centers, her chakras, uh, destabilizes the, the hormonal balance. Okay, because chakras are, there are seven chakras in the physical body. There's more in the light body, but in the physical body, there's seven chakras. Uh, the bigger one, the basic, and they are connected very intimately with seven hormonal glands. Yeah, so it's not like, you know, 
that the, the uh, Indian spirituality doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the Vedic knowledge does not make any sense. It does make any, any sense. It's just a different type of anatomy. Yes, in medical hospitals and a doctor in, in medical science will tell you there's seven major hormonal glands. And when, when energy gets released in reckless fashion, in hedonistic, um, you know, reckless fashion, what happens is that energy centers, those chakras and hormones go haywire. So as a result, a woman, as a woman, I can tell you that I would experience a lot of irrational fear, um, feeling insecurity, feeling that my partner is just, does not love me all of a sudden, or is going to be, you know, interested in another woman, obviously, uh, feeling jealous. Another thing, I was obsessed about shopping. So no, see, observe, observe yourself if you are a woman. I invite you to know thyself because maybe you're sick and tired of, of, of those roller coasters as well. Yeah. And maybe you would like to become emotionally balanced and like, you know, have your pendulum of emotions in stillness. Yeah. Because your partner would actually appreciate it very much. Yeah. Men come to women for emotional stability, for emo emotional nourishment. Yes. We protect men in the energy realm. Men protect us in the realm of physical, in third dimension, yes? We provide love energy uh, and res respect and understanding in the, you know, in the energy realm. And man feeds on it. He needs it in order to go and, you know, get you stuff in 3D. Yes, go, you know, provide for you, protect you physically, be inspired. So... What I noticed is that when I would practice orgasmic sex, um, I had fe sudden feelings of jealousy, inadequacy. I would cry for no reason. I would feel, um, you know, like, oh, like overly defensive or hurt for no reason because he said something. So it was very easy to wound me, to hurt me. Okay. And yeah, yeah, we definitely live in a society of women that do get offended easily, don't we? Hello? Yes? Hashtag me too. So ask yourself, why is it that women have suddenly become so freaking sensitive? Right? So reactive. Yeah? As a woman, I also would experience, because I felt like I'm not good enough, I felt empty, like a flute that had no no energy inside, like an empty flute, yes? Think about chakras and those points to make, you know, the holes to make music, right, on a flute. So I felt drained and vacuumed inside me. I felt empty and I felt the void needs to be filled out by something. So, well, let's fill it out by shopping, right? Let's get some sexy stuff so he pays attention to me. And... You know, I would shop and shop, buy stuff on Amazon I never used, I never needed. Yes? So what arises in a woman is insecure fear, irrational fear, jealousy, uh, greed, because she needs to accumulate more stuff. Okay? She's shopping, irrational. Um, anger, like outbursts of just feeling angry for no, no freaking reason. Yes? And we women are very verbal. Right? We talk and we are more powerful when it comes to verbal energy than men. Right? Over here, we have a lot of charge and we, have, we ladies do have a lot of vocabulary, don't we? Oh, gee, right? So there is no way that a man would win a battle verbally. Right? Because we women talk more and we have more words to make sure that if we, if we want to, we can literally cut the balls off of, of, of the man, yes? So, you know, a woman has that nature that she can, she can take a beautiful style, stallion, beautiful horse, yes? And then if the toxic energy, toxic female energy is switched on, she turns him in, she breaks the stallion and turns him into a mule. And then guess what? Who wants to have a mule, right? So she's looking for another stallion. Right. So if you are a man listening to this, don't let yourself to be broken that way. Yes. Be smart. Channel your sexual energy. 
guard it, guard your semen, learn how to, how to, how to channel it up and become aware of maybe there is another way of making love where you don't have to bring her to the finish, but you can actually connect more, do, you know, spend more time focusing on love rather than on lust, because lust doesn't last. You cannot build a family on a quicksand. You cannot build a relationship on, on sand. You have to build it on a rock. So if what I'm sharing here inspires you, enlightens you, uh, broadens your horizons, please um, share this video, put a like, and also whether you agree with me or not, please leave comments below and let's create a dialogue here. Let's create uh, you know, some kind of a community where we can research the truth about sexual energy because it's only like one of the most, it's probably the most beautiful things we human beings experience together. Yeah. And if you need any support from me, any help uh, in terms of coaching, or if you would like to uh, come to my retreats, uh, please check the bio in my, in my profile and you will have a way to email me and more information.